Yes, sir. What is going on, YouTube? It is your boy D Nolly, aka Don Squally, and we back at it with another Forza Horizon 3 build video, man. If you guys are new to the channel, I uh, just want to say welcome. If you guys don't know how it works, we take one request per video uploaded, so let me know what you guys want to see down in the comments section. But today, you guys have riled together, uh, grouped up, and pretty much made a unanimous decision here. We have a request coming from a number of you guys on the channel. If you read the title, you already know what's up, man, but we're gonna run through that list of names real quick. Jake Rally Supercar, James Heron, Wolf, Maxime LeBlanc, Sasipto Handra, Logan Handra, Irfan Aswan, Aziz, Grant Vetter, Adam Hefney, Super Cars and Chill, Isaiah Russell, Ethan's Awesome Channel, Watermelon Diecast, Braith Templeton, Varun DeBassarin, Ben Maver, Tanner Baker, Legend of Power 17, Oliver K, Mustakim Ali, Bob McCawkin, Kyle Penosa, Luke for MLB, Moto Boy Johansson, Christopher Leon Perez, Uzer Ismail, Ben Weber, Tavon Norwood, Oliver Uthen, Mason Vladimir, Ninja Swag, and GT Style Heaven all want to see Tanner Fox's new pink wrapped GTR, man. Now, we did do Tanner Fox's Guaxilla GTR wrap on the channel, and uh, it appears as though the color has changed, man. And uh, I gotta say, I'm a big, big fan of what not necessarily he's done, because if you guys seen the video, no spoilers, but it actually wasn't him that did it, or at least behind the scenes it wasn't, man. Uh, but we are gonna have to go ahead and replicate this super sick pink wrap right now so obviously we're gonna have to go ahead and buy ourselves a new gtr since i'm pretty sure i sold the old one at auction uh hashtag auction if you guys want to see an auction in the next video it's been a minute man and i got a lot of cars on here every time i build something new i gotta delete wraps and different things of that nature they gotta go so let me know if you guys want to see an auction in the next video but with that being said, let's go ahead and jump into this video, man. So obviously, we are going to start with a couple of upgrades. Now, I know this car is a little bit far than far from stock. You can say it's spitting a little bit of flames. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and make the necessary adjustments real quick. Now, on Tanner's GTR, there is no front lip. However, he does have a very nice wing on that bad boy. So we're going to go ahead throw that on there real quick now for the first time in a while this car actually has tire letters on it i'm a big fan of the tire letters in the game even though i wish they didn't say you know forza horizon maybe something a little cooler than that however i do like the look of them on cars and you know tanner's new gtr wrap in fact has those tire letters on there now i'm going to skim through a couple of different styles of wheels here i think i have one in my head that i'm looking for in particular something to replicate what tanner has done on his gtr and for me these have to be the adv forzas now i know when we do paint these black you're probably still going to see those red uh letters on there but i still think this wheel is pretty much as close as it's gonna get to what Tanner has on his car. And we're gonna go ahead and make these wheels just a little bit bigger, uh, just, just to make this thing look a little bit better. Now next up, we're gonna go ahead and upgrade the transmission because I do want this thing to shift very fast as well as a race diff. Obviously the two go hand in hand. Next up comes brakes. Go ahead and upgrade those. I'm thinking we're probably going to have to do a racing spring and damper. Uh, this thing isn't completely slammed, so I think where it's sitting right now is going to do us just fine. Um, as far as the anti-roll bars, we're going to install those both front and back, and I think that's going to be good. Now, in order to spit 
five foot flames, you have to do quite a few things. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and do a few upgrades of which I think, you know, you might achieve some flames. Um, obviously a tune in there is definitely gonna help. I mean, they do have maps. I'm a G35 owner. They do have maps just specifically for shooting flames, which I may end up getting in the near future. Uh, just to, you know, stay tuned to my other channel, man, youtube.com slash Denali. But now that we got all those modifications out of the way, let's go ahead and install those on the car. Now, next up, uh, we would typically get into tuning, but there's not really a whole lot on this car that I think we need to change. We've done a lot of GTRs on the channel, and there's really not much going on with them. Uh, pretty standard all across the globe, unless you completely max them out. From factory, they are, uh, you know, pretty much as good as they're going to get. Um, so what I'm thinking we're going to do is just go ahead and search up a skin here. I'm, I'm pretty confident... There's gonna be a lot of Guaxilla skins, uh, but I'm gonna go ahead and search and see if we can get this new bubblegum wrap going here. And as you can see, we do have quite a few pink designs here. I'm gonna look for the one that I think uh, suits this car the best. Uh, preferably the one that actually has the little handwriting on the, on the front bumper, I think would really be cool. Now it did take me a while to find the one that I like, but I think this guy right, right here, every clot, uh, has it pretty well down pat, has the nice pink wrap, uh, has the T-Fox on the front there. I think this is going to be perfect for what we're looking for here. So now that we got that out of the way, I think we are just about ready to hit the road with this beast. So like I said from factory, this thing uh, pretty much your standard GTR, not expecting much out of the ordinary. Uh, had we have done a rear wheel drive swap, this thing may be a little bit more fun. But as you guys know, GTRs pretty much standard acceleration monsters. Now this thing is getting a little bit sideways with the help of the handbrake there. Banking her off that red line. Now this bubblegum wrap looking absolutely sick. Has a really nice, almost like two-tone-ish. From this side, it looks a little darker. And then you come around to the sunny side. And that, that my friends, is damn near perfection right there. Now the one thing I do love about GTRs is that they are just powerhouses. Now when they first came out, I believe they started around 80 grand competing with cars well into the $100,000 uh, range and you know back then that was a big feat. Nowadays even used GTR still going for around 60, 70 grand. The newer ones going for upwards of like 90 uh, nowadays but you know the first generation, uh, generation uh, R35s I should say because there's many uh, different kinds of GTRs. Uh, but the R35 is the first generation. I think uh, when they came out, they were just an absolute monster competing with cars uh, well out of their price range and lux luxury range and uh, still putting up quite a fight. This one, however, blessed with that Tanner Fox wrap, definitely makes it stand out just a little bit more. But like I say, as far as GTRs go, uh, R35s, this thing is pretty much standard issue. You guys have seen us build uh, well, probably hundreds, if not, probably not thousands because we don't have a thousand videos on the channel yet. So that's, you know, that's physically not possible. Uh, maybe, I don't know, I'm going to actually have to count how many GTRs I have done on the channel. But uh, a lot of YouTubers have them and we constantly get requests for them. Oh, that GTR just popped out of nowhere. Um, so, you know, why not give the people what they want? But I am thinking we are probably going to put an end to this video. If you guys did enjoy this one, don't forget to smash that like button. You guys are new to the channel and like saying, you know, you want to stick around, see what we got coming up in the future. Definitely don't forget to smash that subscribe button as well because, uh, you know, we're doing it. We're doing it on the regular. 
on the regular. So uh, definitely stay tuned. And I just want to say thank you guys for watching. As always, I am your boy Dinali, a.k.a. Don Squally. And we're going to catch y'all mofos at the next one, man. Peace. Oh, 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 no. Oh, oh, no. Oh. Oh, oh, no.